Primates are a very diverse group of animals, and famously we humans are part of this group. Primates vary greatly in size and shape, from tiny insect-eating creatures to true giants of the forests. As we are so closely related to some primate species, we do share a lot of behaviours and traits. Many primates are known for doing things that are very human-like, and they even seem to share some of our emotions. This can lead to some people viewing primates as very cute and relatable, but some primate species live very brutal lives. Some primates will kill and eat other primates just to get by, and some primates will even target their own kind. To find our first primate, we will be heading over to Africa, as we will be taking a look at the baboons. Baboons are old world monkeys, and today there are six extant species. These six species can be found across Africa, and one is even found in a part of the Arabian Peninsula. Baboons are some of the largest non-hominid primates, and they've been around for at least two million years. Their size and weight of course depends on the species, as the smallest only measures around 50 centimeters in length and weighs around 14 kilograms, whereas the largest can measure 1.2 meters in length and weigh 40 kilograms. Baboons look very different to most other old world monkeys, and this is mainly due down to their long dog-like muzzles and their very large canine teeth. This could lead you to think that baboons are carnivores, but in fact baboons are omnivorous. Their diet mostly consists of plants, but they will also feed on small creatures including primates. The baboons themselves need to look out for predators, because they are common targets for Nile crocodiles, leopards, lions and hyenas. To give them some protection from these predators, they live in large groups, and sometimes the number of baboons in these troops can reach the hundreds. These troops are usually protected by the large males, but sometimes these males will go on the attack against other primates. One of the species that the baboons regularly target are vervet monkeys. And these monkeys are very interesting in their own right. Not only do they have very brightly coloured genitals, but they're also known for having very human-like characteristics. Studies have shown them to exhibit anxiety and also social and dependent alcohol use. Even though these monkeys are native to South and Eastern Africa, they have invasive populations in many Caribbean islands and they also have a very small population in Florida. In their native range, these monkeys mostly feed on fruits and flowers, but in some cases they will go after bird eggs. Vervet monkeys have to deal with many of the same predators as baboons, but they also have to deal with the baboons as well. Even though the vervet monkeys are much more agile and nimble in the trees, some baboons will work together to pick them off, and soon after they will devour them. This just shows us how challenging it can be to be a small creature in Africa, and even some of the primates can turn into ruthless killers. For our next primate we can stay in Africa, as we will be taking a look at the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee is a species of great ape, and it's native to the forests and savannas of tropical Africa. Chimpanzees live in groups that can range from 15 to 150 members, but today these numbers are pretty much unheard of. Famously, chimpanzees are very intelligent creatures, and they're even able to do some tasks better than humans. Because some chimpanzees have some very human-like behaviours, they're often portrayed as very cute and lovable creatures. They appear in TV shows and movies, and some people even choose to keep them as pets. As I'm sure many of you know, this is a very bad idea, as chimpanzees can be very unpredictable and violent. In Tanzania between 1974 and 1978, two groups of chimpanzees were at war. These two groups would attack and kill each other, and it finally ended when one of the groups was victorious. Clashes between groups of chimpanzees can be very violent, and they often go for the face, genitals and appendages. This same behaviour can be seen in captivity, because when pet chimpanzees go after their owners, they often attack in the same way. In the wild, chimpanzees are omnivorous, and mostly feed on a wide variety of fruits. Sometimes chimpanzees will go after birds and their eggs, and in rarer cases they will go after medium-sized mammals. In some cases they will go after mammals such as bushbucks and warthogs, but they also feed on a few primates. They will go after red-tailed monkeys and bush babies, and they will even go after the aforementioned yellow baboons. 
The primates that suffer the most at the hands of the chimpanzees are the red colobus monkeys, and the chimpanzees are known for being quite brutal when they target them. They will often work as a group to drive them from the trees, and eventually they will tear them limb from limb. As I've already covered in a previous video, sometimes chimpanzees will eat their own kind, and they'll even eat the young of their own group. This was witnessed by scientists in December 2014, where a male snatched a juvenile of its own group and then went on to eat it. This is why sometimes female chimpanzees will leave the group to give birth, and this just reiterates that chimpanzees aren't the cuddly creatures that some people believe them to be. For our final primates, we will be heading over to Central and South America, as we have the white-faced capuchin. There are two species of monkey that are often referred to as the white-faced capuchin, the Panamanian white-faced capuchin, and the Colombian white-faced capuchin. The species I will be focusing on today is the Panamanian white-faced capuchin, and this monkey really is quite small. The Panamanian white-faced capuchin is native to the forests of Central America, and it plays a very important role in its ecosystem. It feeds on a wide variety of fruits, seeds and flowers, and by doing this it plays a very important role in dispersing those seeds, and for some plants it's also a very effective pollinator. One of these monkeys famously had a starring role in some of the Pirates of the Caribbean series, and they are one of the more recognisable New World monkeys. The Panamanian white-faced capuchin is omnivorous, because as well as their plant-based diet, they will also feed on invertebrates. These invertebrates mostly come in the form of beetles and ants, but in some cases they will target small vertebrates such as frogs and lizards. Unlike the other two primates that I've featured in this video, the Panamanian white-faced capuchin does not hunt other monkeys. Instead it does quite the opposite, as it often interacts with squirrel monkeys and other capuchins. They can often be seen in close proximity in the treetops, and these monkeys are very rarely aggressive. The reason these monkeys are on this list is quite a strange one, and it's all because of a report in 2019. A group of scientists were observing a small group of monkeys, when suddenly a 10-day-old monkey fell to its death. At first, its mother tried to pick it up, but soon left, and other members of the group came down to investigate. At first they seemed very inquisitive, but then they started chewing on the body. After they were done, only part of the body remained, and this was one of the first examples of cannibalism with the Panamanian white-faced capuchin. It's possible that this group could have been desperate or starving, or they simply could have been too curious. For now, it still remains a mystery, and it is very unusual behaviour for such a peaceful primate. If there are any other animals you think could have made it in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.